Oh, hi. Hi and welcome. Welcome to the replay. If you're on the replay, here's little Freddie. I know that that's who you want to see, isn't it? We've got the camera so you can mostly see Freddie. And welcome, welcome on the replay. Come and relax with us for a little while. We'll be doing some some gluing and a fabric, little bits and pieces and paper bits and pieces. I'm sure most of you have got lots of leftover scraps and bits and pieces. Oh, these weeks go by really quickly. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, and there's Candy. I have got chat on this morning. Oh, that's brilliant. Candy, good morning. Good morning, lovely Candy. Oh, Candy, here's me all wet. <laughs> it's raining. British summertime. <laughs> good morning, Kimberly and Beef. Oh, how are you? Give a little hug to Beef for me. And here's Dar with, oh, and Gracie, a little pat, pat to Gracie too, oh, and oh, and so nice to see you, oh, I'm using up fabric scraps today, a little bit like when I did the Franken paper, <laughs> I'll tell you all about that, <laughs> well, Laura put up a question, Laura, the Jersey creative, put up a a question in on Facebook I think and she said that she wanted to do something for her niece so I thought oh I had a painted letter a stand up alone letter that lovely Steph gave me made me and I thought oh that got me thinking and then I thought oh maybe if Jersey could, Laura could make a, a scrappy, gluey letter, initial, a picture, or do a little sewing, slow stitch initial there. So that's what I'm going to be making today. And Beefy just had a bath, so she's worn out. Oh, and she's all clean. Freddie's all clean because it's raining today and it's been raining for two or three days. So it's really muddy outside. So I thought, let's go to the river. So even though he gets muddy, he he dries off and, and you know, he cleans himself off. Oh, Dar's waiting in the parking lot to go into PetSmart for Grace's prescription for dry food. Oh, Oh, bless you. Oh, I'm glad you can join us, Dar. Even in the car, that's really nice. We'll keep you company while you wait. And ah, oh, here's Barbara. Yes, Freddie was a hippo this morning. <laughs> so muddy, so muddy. But um, he loves he loves jumping in the water. <laughs> oh. Oh, Kimberly says, yes, and then get home safe and sound. Yes, that's right. Yes. Now, Barbara, you're joining us, aren't you, for a little while, and then you're going out for a lovely, therapeutic, friendly walk, aren't you? Mm. That's so nice to hear. Oh, Barbara, I really enjoyed the documentary on Beatrix Potter that you recommended. I'll have to put it in the description box below when this is all processed for people. Oh, yeah, labs are made for swimming. They they do like, well, they retrieve, don't they? Freddie um, has a mix of lots of dogs in him. Good morning, Janice. <laughs> oh, but he sure does love the water he really does so that's a leather chair so he's got a towel on so it soaks it up so he's not sitting in the wetness <laughs> oh so nice to see you Janice glad you could 
pop in as you get ready for work. Oh, so nice to see you. Let me show you, let me show you what I have in mind. So these are the finished products. It's an initial with, it's just on the deli paper. So it can be sewn on or appliqued on or put in a fabric journal, whatever you want. And I, the joy of sewing beads and shiny bits and just rough, slow stitching. Whoops. <laughs> and some mini, mini buttons. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. Oh, Janice is saying, do you sleep at all? Is that because you, you were at Mary's uh, earlier on? Mary. I, I have to watch Mary on the replay because I'm asleep when she comes on on the Sunday evening. <laughs> Be for Barbara. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. And I've got a K. So I've got one made out of fabric and then one made out of paper, depending on what sort of scraps you've had. So choose whichever scraps you want to play with. And, and I just, this one, I, I did on just copy paper. So you can come in and cut it out like so. And this one, I've done a J and I'm gonna put it in my junk journal. I did one for myself. <laughs> I'm just going to simply cut it out like so. Obviously, I haven't measured. I, the other thing you can do is print them off from the computer. But I couldn't get my printer to connect and the boys were away. So, mm. <laughs> Barbara's part of the Sesame Street creative team. <laughs> Dear, oh, I don't know. Learning our letters. I know, I know. Well, the, I was saying, Barbara, this is um, our lovely Laura was saying she wanted to create something for her niece. And I thought, oh, this might be something interesting for Laura. Initials. I'm just, so that's the J. So it literally is. Sticking, gluing, mind of consciousness art. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I, I used to watch Sesame Street too. I love it. <laughs> the Cookie Monster. And then just sticking some buttons and bits and pieces on it. And then the other one's made out of fabric. Another thing that I, I can, I'm going to stick some, just one more thing on here before I start to make some of these. I have some washi tape from lovely Rebecca from Becca Creates. And look, it had lots of little faces on. And I've got two faces left. So I'm going to make myself a little fairy to go on, on this one. I got one. No, I think I made. Oh, the other thing that started me off on this is I was making a birthday card for Katie next door. So there's the little head. I'm going to just stick that down, get myself some glue. Oh, look what the boys brought me back from their holiday. <laughs> Isn't that lovely. I've got a little fairy door down here. For the back door so this is brilliant we're gonna have a fairy door at the front as well <laughs> Anne's coming in <laughs> oh good morning Anne oh. oh <laughs> you went oh Anne was on and was on late last night. Oh, well, I should watch that on the replay. Oh, mm. 
isn't that isn't it gorgeous i'm so pleased with it it's going to go up at the front of the house i'll i'll share a picture with you <laughs> so i'll put that little head there we we'll use it Anne. you've just come in i know you're if you've just woken up if you're in the states um Oh, Anne's a night owl. While I was sleeping, and screaming. <laughs> oh. oh, right. I will, I'm watching, yes. And using up scraps and bits and pieces. I'm just making a little quick fairy before we start to make some more scraps. As you do, as you do. Welcome to everybody that's watching in the background, whether you're getting ready for work or crafting along and can't quite, you know, thinking, I can't get involved with chat. <laughs> I'll never get anything done. Or whether you're just simply resting or just don't want to get involved in the chat. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to you. Make a little painty paper dress. I tell you who's been making gorgeous paper dolls is, oh, I'm not going to stick that down fully yet, is, is Christina from Christina's Crafty Shack, our Australian friend. Well worth a visit to her channel. I can leave a link below. I was just in the middle of it when I was... Then I have to prepare myself to come on stream. You want to finish your packaging journal. You have a basket full for sure. Ah, oh, well, it's lovely. Craft along with us, Anne. And there's Vanessa. Oh, good morning, Vanessa. And Meljoy. And Carol and Teresa. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah. Oh. Welcome, welcome. A lovely wet tired Freddie says welcome. And Vanessa, your healing from after your hand surgery. I do hope that's going well. And our lovely Teresa too. Two people in the chat that can't craft along, but can watch and get ideas and have some company today. Wishing Teresa and, and our lovely and our lovely Vanessa some healing vibes. <laughs> oh, and that's Carol. There's Carol whispering cauldron. Oh, you're too busy stitching, aren't you? Just to, to tap in the chat too much. <laughs> oh. There you go, Janice is waving to you all. I've taken to getting butterfly tissue paper or napkin and making wings so I can, let's just put some glue on here so I can show you, make fairy wings for my paper dolls. So I've got little Little wings on my paper dolls. Well, they're fairies. I shall bend that over. Let me show you. Welcome, Meljoy. Welcome to this side of the chat. Don't feel any pressure to keep typing. <laughs> I know you're there. You're waiting at the vet to come to the house and they messed up and thought we were coming into the clinic. Oh, dear. Mm. Luna doesn't do car rides. Carol, are you at the vets as well? Dar is in the car as well, uh, waiting for Grace's food. It's Monday morning is a day to get chores done as well. Yes. Thank you for joining me and starting your week with me. And of course, if you're on the replay, have a wonderful week too, whatever day you're starting this. And there's my little fairy. Isn't she sweet? She's a little fairy. She's got her little glasses on. She's got a painted paper dress and some butterfly wings. I'm going to put a heart on this. Find a heart. 
usually got lots of hearts flying around the desk. <laughs> oh, Kimberly, some good news from Kimberly. And I missed the good news, so tell me again. <laughs> good morning, Nettie. Oh, and Sophia, good morning. We have India in the house. Isn't that amazing? We've got England, India. We've got three players from Australia. We've got, oh, it's amazing. Wonderful, all the wonderful people from the USA. Oh, yeah, Kimberly. It's not much fun for them going to the vets, is it? Mm. Oh. So there's my letter J, just made out of scripts and scraps and little bits and pieces and then I've embellished it and um, I just literally cut it out of copy paper I lit to start with all I did was pop on pop on bits and pieces of paper good morning Kathy Kathy thank you for starting the week with us oh so nice to see you Hmm. I'm going to stick this while I think in my junk journal. A little J for Janet. Tell my totally junk journal. There's a page. And then later on, I can come round and do some pens and things on it. Oh, sending you love, Sophia, to you and your family. Gosh. So nice that you could join us. I'm not, I can't remember what sort of time it is in India when, when we're streaming. You'll have to remind me again if you get a chance to type in the chat. We need an F for Freddie. We do. Because it's, all, it's not about me. It's all about Freddie, isn't it? <laughs> That's why I have the camera not on here. I know my place. <laughs> I do. Oh, thanks, Sam. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, Kathy was there at Anne's. Oh, plenty to, for me to replay and craft along to later. Wonderful. I'm loving that. <laughs> there we are. There. And then that will be just, it's lovely to have things set up. So if I'm just not feeling... I'm feeling tired, or I'm listening away to Anne's replay. I can just do some doodling around my J. <laughs> oh, it'll make it pop out once I start to get pens on there. Oh, good day, all, says Aunt Bex. You're sitting in the truck. Oh, so many people are out and about today waiting for Scott to come out from an eye doctor appointment. Oh, wow. I loved Becky, all the wildlife in your your recent videos, the one with the bunny, bunny rabbit, and but what about the crocodile one as well, the alligator? It's okay, folks. It's only a four-foot alligator. I'm thinking, really? Gosh, very scary. I don't think I want to have a picnic by that river. <laughs> Oh, you're both sore and tired from paint, paint, painting that brick wall yesterday. Quiet day for you. Oh, there's Deanie. And Deanie's motto is no scraps left behind. I love that motto. We all love that motto. Oh, I've got your, oh, I think they're in a pile waiting to go in my, my, my junk journal oh no scraps left behind that's a super motto so Deanie let's use up some more scraps today so let's make if you've just come in we're making initials and I I just copied some to to cut round and here's my little bag of scraps, my little album, my little owl 
You, you help me hang on to this, please. Thank you. There we are. Squips and scraps. Loving this. And then just get your glue and then just tack it down like we did when we did the Franken paper. That's what we're making, actually. So more Franken paper, scrappy Franken paper. Put those there so you can see what we're making. And out of the no scrap left behind, Dee <laughs> out of that, there was a little bit left over from the edge. So I made a little heart with a little mini button, <laughs> ready to go in happy mail or ready to go in my fabric journal. Oh, Bernadette has a hair appointment at 12.30 and you will have to find things to do out that way for three hours. Oh, right. Are there any shops that you can visit or antique malls? I love that. She's having her hair done. That's a luxury, isn't it? Making it because it's she probably needs it cut to keep her cool. Yeah. I'm just snip, snip, snip a little. It's nice to have a bag full of your little bits and pieces here. And we can, well, yep, yeah, we can use them even when they're tiny. And just a little bit of glue, because you don't want too much, because you want to be able to sew round it too. And of course, you don't have to cut out initials. You can cut out a heart. Or you can, you can cut out what you like. Oh, do you know? And even these little bits, we save. I don't know where the little pot for that is. But I, we save even those, don't we? To make the Lizzie Brewer little scrappy netting craft. Oh, you're going to the post office. Kathy's going to the post office. Make a K for Katie. Yes, I, I'm going to give this one to Katie. Yes, definitely. Definitely. My, one of my next projects is to make, because I finished my, our, my rainbow star. And I'm going to where Katie works for the for the little ones. They they have quilts, so I'm actually going to make my first sewn scrappy quilt, and it has to have all the edges sewn in because it has to go in the washing machine and tumble dryer. But that's my next job, and I will probably be asking advice from people in our lovely Facebook groups that we go to. Tina, good morning. Wanted to say good morning. Ah, oh, you're you have me on the TV, and you're doing chores. Oh, lovely. You probably need to get things done because you'll be busy with your appointments and recovering from appointments later later this week won't you Tina oh you're you still very much in my mind and in my heart Tina and Kathy too mm. oh well oh it's so funny Kathy last week I was mopping my brow oh it was, it was so hot but today is what I would say cardi weather. I'm actually really stubborn. I've gone into summer mode. I've got my summer dresses on and summer trousers and I am a determined woman. Really, I could do with a jeans and jumper on today. It's wet and a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, yes. Oh dear, you want to get your hair done. Oh dear, Barbara, that you've gone into a lockdown again, haven't you? I know. It's just the treat of having it done, isn't it? Sometimes I cut my own hair and sometimes I go to the hairdressers. I've got hairdressing scissors. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, Mitty. Oh, I'm sorry that you had a bad night's sleep. I tell you what, Mitty, why don't you? Because this is what I do. Help me on in the background and just drift off to sleep. We'll keep you company. Yeah, if you didn't sleep well last night, maybe you just need to catch up. Because it's still early in the States, isn't it? Mm. Oh, bye, Aunt Bex. Oh, thank you for popping in. That's so lovely. So lovely. I love that when people just pop by, pop their head over the garden fence to say hi. It's so lovely. Mm. Yes, it's a perfect walking weather for you, isn't it? Perfect walking weather. Having said, I'm going to do initials and title that. I actually think I might cut some scrappy heart out of this. What am I like? I just can't stop creating hearts. Oh, it's my thing. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there's Sue. Good morning, Sue. England's in the house. So nice to see you, Sue. Ooh, look at that. Just a tiny piece. The peace sign on fabric. That's a lovely scrap. That is going to go in my 1960 journal. Whoa. Hey, there's Roy. Oh, how are you? Mm. Oh, so nice to see you. Has everybody seen Roy's latest video? Absolutely fabulous. Come on in, Roy. We're using up scraps and making like a, a, a franken paper just to start with. And then we can cut out what we like. Doesn't have to be initials. <laughs> Do your own thing, chicken wing. That's what we say, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Oh, Barbara, brilliant. Oh, you may not have any after effects. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Wishing you well, Barbara, dear. That's great to get that done, though, isn't it? Fantastic. So, Roy's latest video, nip on over there. I shared it on our lovely Bet in our lovely Bets group and can share it in the links below later. Roy altered his sneakers. And for us, that would be trainers or pumps. <laughs> Fantastic. You Painted and appliqued. Oh, love it. And it was a challenge for the Disabled Artist Fund. Fantastic. You did a brilliant job and a fun video as always. Oh, I think I might use some of my dyed fabric. Actually, I might leave that because that looks like a cute little rainbow, doesn't it? So I'll leave that bit. But I'll cut this one up. When I was, I just knit from one thing to another and I thought, oh, I'm going to, oh, actually, it's not quite dry. Use those inks. I can't use that. Good morning, Bear. Oh, come on in. Pull up a chair. Fetch yourself some coffee. It's early. It's early birds. <laughs> the early birds are here. Of course, for Sue and I, it's, it's what time is it half past two in the afternoon so we've had our lunch haven't we i love this it's lovely it's just to have a little box of little scraps so many different projects we can do with them oh how are you lovely beth i i enjoyed your live beth and last night I watched it all and watched it all on the replay. And last night, I I popped it on and it helped me go fall off to sleep with your lovely familiar voice. And you had a guest, didn't you? You had lovely Erin with you on Saturday. And that was lovely. Really enjoyed that. Mm. 
Shall I do an initial or shall I do another heart? Mm. Here's Mrs. Gigi. Oh. oh, Mrs. Gigi is going to check out. Is that Roy's video? Nice to see you, Mrs. Gigi. And of course, it's the afternoon for Mrs. Gigi, so she's getting some crafting done. Oh. Oh, just had tea cake and a cuppa. Oh, I love a tea cake. A tea cake is like a sweet. Oh, we'll have to have that one day. They're gorgeous toasted. When Melanie's here, she can go in the kitchen and toast us a tea cake. They're like sweet bread roll and enriched dough with raisins in. Lovely, with lashings of butter. Yes, it was fun, Beth, and very. I found it, as always, very relaxing. Watching you sort through the beads and just really lovely. Thank you, really lovely. Mm. Mrs. Chi-Chi is crafting. And in an hour, dinner prep. Ah, oh, yes, yes, you're in... In Sweden, you're running a little bit ahead of us, aren't you? Yes, in time. Mm. We're time travellers, aren't we, in this art community? What little scripts and scraps have I got here? We won't throw anything away, will we? Oh, Dean is here. I've been enjoying Dean. He's doing the iCAD. Hot Threads is doing the iCAD challenge. And I'm loving that. I think this is a bit of pink fabric left over from when we were doing printing with bleach. Freddie's having a nice big drink there. That's because we were talking about cups of tea. It made Freddie feel quite thirsty. Oh, mm. oh. Barbara's got something in the slow cooker. I love it. And then the whole house smells delicious, doesn't it? I haven't done my yogurt experiment in the slow cooker yet, Barbara. It's all ready. I've got the jars and the lids sorted and sterilised. I thought I'd wait till the boys are home now. So I thought there'd be someone there to help me eat the yogurt. So it's just an experiment because my yogurt maker broke. I know some people make yogurt in a thermos flask as well. You you made Greek yogurt in your instant pot. Is that specially for you or like a slow cooker? Um, let's do another bean, shall we? And then you pop this on like this. It's not rocket science, as I always say. Let's pull that nearer. Don't worry, I'm not going to waste any of these scraps. <laughs> yes, and, and Deanie, I find your... Nip over to Deanie's channel. I will put a link in the description box later on this evening when this is processed. Really lovely stories that Deanie tells. I like your accent. And lovely family stories. Let's tear this down here. And here's a bee, another bee. There we are. Um, but Roy says, I'll read it out just in case some people can't read the chat. It goes too quickly or if you're on the replay every time I see your name oh to Sue Sue Hennessy it reminded reminds me of a sweet woman who was in our church choir with me she was a a lifelong smoker she assigned she was a baritone oh well Deanie tells a wonderful story about her grandmother absolutely wonderful in one of her iCAD videos absolutely love it <laughs> oh oh 
Beth, yes, I I posted it in your group, dear. You've been busy, Beth, haven't you? Beth streams three times a week, so I can imagine that. I mean, I stream once a week, so everything gets the desk gets in such a mess, and I don't know. I don't know how you do it, Beth, dear. You're wonderful. <laughs> There we are, and then just cut it out. I'm using my little fabric scissors because it is fabric. I've got this paper underneath, so I'm hoping it doesn't dull the scissors. It's the um, deli paper. Oh, thank you. There's a link there to Dini's channel. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. Oh throwing in the links there don't feel any pressure to do that though because i know you're busy sorting out for your streams mrs Gigi streams as well and i haven't caught up with your new time slots yet i must admit but i do watch catch up <laughs> or as we like to call it catch up <laughs> kathy says you're finding it hard time to do once a week now you don't know how she keeps up with it she does a marvelous job doesn't she yes and then i just take that off like so and then it's ready take it off like that it's on the paper you could applique it with the sewing machine this would be nice wouldn't this be nice sewn on beth's granny blanket and and then i just go ahead and embellish it but lots of different slow stitchy relaxed stitches and buttons and bits on it your mother-in-law got the same name she passed many years you can't sing only craft says sue <laughs> oh glad to know that you're crafting along with us mm. In instant pots, however, have not purchased one for yourself. Mm. I think you might have answered my question above. Is the instant pot different to the crock pot? Um, I can look that up. Don't you worry. And look, I'm going to cut myself out some hearts ready to sew out of these little bits just because I can. There we are. And it's nice to have some of these things ready because you can, there's a heart to sew, just like a little patchworky heart. And you can, I don't know where the other one is. It's disappeared somewhere. And then just pop, you just come in, pop some little slow, stitchy bits and pieces and that, like a little mini doll's clothes button there. I think I can get another one out of here. Oh, maybe another one from here as well. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, you make videos, but you put so much work into your videos, um, Roy. They're so beautifully and, and amusingly edited. I love them. I love them. There's probably a reason why I do... I do lives because there's no editing. I do one video a month for Mary's Hot. That's coming up this Saturday, the video hot. And mine are usually very short because my skills for editing and filming and storing, oh, I'm very challenged. It's a learning curve for me, I tell you. There we are. And then with these little bits, they've only got that little bit of glue on. They're not even sticky now. I just put those back so I'm not wasting anything, not wasting any bits of scraps. These all, all get used up. And if, when they become too small, I can make one of these scrappy hearts. Where's that? Oh, one of these inspired by our wonderful Lizzie. <laughs> so we use everything up, don't we? 
Mm. Ooh, rice pudding is brilliant in the slow cooker, isn't it? I'll let you know how the yogurt goes. I'm going to heat the bot. I heat it up to high, and then put the jars in, and then just let them cook for. Let it heat for twelve hours. Should should do the trick. Because years ago I did have a yogurt maker, which was just little jars sat in with a low heat so for half a day. So that is my little scrappy, scrappy letters. And you can do it with paper. You don't have to use these scraps if you don't want to scraps you don't have to make it out of material and then I'm just going to simply open up my slow stitch kit and then put those in there for a day when I want to just take this to to bed or um take it to the lounge and do some do some slow stitching mm. Oh, you sit at your desk and make videos when you're not feeling that well. Mm. That's a good idea. I don't. I, I only make videos with my phone, and I don't think I've got a lot of storage. So I'm I'm going to stick to the lives. Stick sticking to the lives. And can you can you believe I've been nearly streaming for a year? In two weeks' time, we'll we'll have a party. Let's have a party in two weeks' time. <laughs> two Mondays' time. I think that's the 5th of July. I will have been streaming for a year. I can't believe it. So much encouragement from lovely Beth. I remember it would have been a bit sooner, but, of course, I, I, I didn't know... I didn't know how to how to do it and I couldn't get any sound and Beth kept saying don't worry you're just a click away from it working <laughs> so thank you Beth for all your <laughs> oh yes of course we will have cake Beth Mmm, and I've got a little prize as well that I got. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, we love it. Oh. Oh, Barbara says, you stay in bed when you're not feeling very well. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. I don't blame you. Mm. Oh, Nettie sees Freddy. Yes, there he is. <laughs> oh. Have a nice time away, Nettie. You're back now. <laughs> I had happy mail. I had happy mail from Donna Matei. She sent me two of these amazing, amazingly made little wallets full of full of happy mail. Thank you. Thank you. And look here, she says. This is from Tim Holtz's new collection. How wonderful. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful of you. Look at these. I can, I'll be sticking these on my postcards and in my journal. Aren't they absolutely splendid? Beautiful. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Lovely, lots of bits and pieces. So I put one in in my junk journal there. So I, I don't think that's not called cool junk, is it? <laughs> and here's your the envelope you sent me. And I put all the bits and pieces of all the lovely things you sent me. In here there is fabric as well. I love it. I love it all. I love it all. Let me show you some of it. Um this is interesting. Sticky stitches. And it's, yeah, it's like, it's probably on sticky back tape. Isn't that wonderful? 
some beautiful vintage fabric there and some little bits and pieces there were die cuts in there absolutely wonderful 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 bits and pieces loving clothes tags in pretty pretty colors i know i'm very lucky mm. absolutely lovely thank you donna <laughs> i'll put that there and i keep using it i even started using it before i posted a picture to say thank you on oh, my like <laughs> so in the there were some scrapbook papers so it is a fun happy mail isn't it Dini? i know there were some wonderful scrapbook papers so i used the scrapbook papers from donna and the little whale tail like what do you call these edgy things tabs <laughs> to make pages for my oh there's the painting paper we made but look at these beautiful scrapbook papers for my 1960s journal mm. oh barbara does it the the yellow fabric reminds you of your I love it. It's very, it's very seventies, isn't it? It, it, it's, it's, it's got some little raised dots on it as well. So pretty. And she knew I was liking yellow at the moment. It's quite seventies. It reminds me of something fabric that you would have a little nighty made out of. <laughs> Tabs. Thank you, Beth. I was losing my words. <laughs> losing my words and I I stitched or I haven't cut things off yet I stitched around all the papers as well I haven't put many pictures in because Mel Joy made me this wallet from very groovy 1960s paper and fabric with little mini bus there VW and here's the center and that's our lovely painty paper that we made and here's my heart strings they haven't got hearts on them yet but i will don't worry lizzie brewer i will put some hearts on my heart strings let me show you you need to see freddie not freddie and the book not me <laughs> happy monday jean oh you're sleepy you might fall back to sleep jean are you back from your trip now oh so nice so nice don't worry i'm asking you questions you might not have energy to type <laughs> this is my 1960s journal and then it's just beautiful papers beautiful papers and i just can't wait to put things, oh, I made a pocket as well. Oh. There, so thank you, Donna, for my lovely, I put these bits in to make uh, some embellishments. And Meljoy made me this wonderful ATC. Isn't it gorgeous? The ATC is called Camper Van. And that's perfect. And I'm popping that in my 1960s journal. And I have quite a lot of things that I've been saving ready to put in it. So I'll probably have a page to show you next week. Wonderful. I'm not going to mix it up with the 70s. I'm going to make a one for the 70s as well. So they're just a little mini journal. I think it's quite a nice size. It's just feels very, very nice. A partridge family bus. Oh, I used to love the partridge family. Yes. I'd forgotten they had a bus like that. Yes. Jean's back from your trip. Ah, oh, and you're just going to sit with us and drink coffee. And you'll put a video up, no pressure, uh, in the next few weeks to tell us all about your trip. That's lovely. 
Mel Joy isn't here this morning. She's at her own house. It's a very it's a very rainy day today. It's the sort of day for staying in, unless you're Freddie. And of course, Freddie thinks this is an ideal day for going out. <laughs> oh, so that's my my little. These are my little journals that I'm working on. Let me just to keep you up to date with what's happening in them. Mm. In the next few days, you'll have a video of your trip. Fantastic, but no pressure, Jean, no pressure. <laughs> My junk journal is really scrappy, but I love this. I like the sound of it. I like that sound. <laughs> so Mel Joy's all cosy at home today. <laughs> Change, adapt. This is where I just put paint scraps when we were painting. And I've done an Alicia, an Alicia Mott, and I put my chalk paints over. Starting to use more words. Mm. Change, adapt, grow, community, inspiration. And that's what I get from being part of this wonderful community. Good morning, Malaya. Oh, we all are beautiful ladies and gentlemen, aren't we? We certainly are. Good morning to you, Malaya, and to your lovely girls. Are they on summer break now? If you're there watching, you might want to make a junk journal too. And I've forgotten your girls' names, Malaya. What am I like? If you're there, you might like to make one of these little journals. I'm just collecting lots of pictures that I like. Cute little chap watering his garden there. And this little door out to the garden. So it's full of Yes, on summer break, you don't have to get in your school uniform. You can just art all day, hopefully. Lily and Vera. Goodness me, what am I like? I'm going to write that down. What am I like? Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Vera. I do hope you're going to be getting your glue out this morning. Just sticking a few bits down. <laughs> this is what I made. In my little art therapy class last Monday. And it's a just, it's nothing. I just had fun. I was just drawing and I drew flow. <laughs> and I was interested. I put meet flow and then I was interested in her name because flow, flourish, flowing and flowed. I thought, oh, some lovely words there. Hmm. I did an online therapy um, session from, it was where I went for my head injury. It's called Attend ABI, Acquired Brain Injury. And they have, they have socials. And I thought, I, I'm going to give it a try. And they were doing some art. So I, it, was, uh, it was lovely. I was just doing my own thing and listening to them. Mm. <laughs> right, so that's, that's what I've been doing in my junk journal. There's Violet. Good morning, Violet. Look at Violet rocking up just in time for snack time. <laughs> Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> I would, I'm going to get the snack out now because then we're going to get painty after snack time. <laughs> Ooh, can I just show you before I get that out and make a mess? None of this is, yeah, it looks messy, but it's all dry. Let me show you what I've been doing. But just before, because Barbara's going on her walk in a minute, so let me show you the finished... Da -da -da. <laughs> the finished crochet rug rug cot blanket maybe it's called tee says violet 
What's for snack? Oh, violet. We can, raspberry Danish sounds good. Mmm, have any of that? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, violet. We're, we're continuing our series on the Great British Biscuit. So, yeah, I'll show you, I will let you know in a minute. <laughs> so, I did, oh, I enjoyed doing the border so much. Now, I, I'm, I'm a beginner. Oh, Kimberly's getting her oatmeal cookie ready. Yeah, get yourself ready while I just show this. Yes, <laughs> get yourself started. Good morning, Steph. Nice to see you. Oh, welcome, welcome. I crocheted this step for a baby that's going to be born in the family. So it's got all the rainbow colours. We were, the baby is what we call a lockdown baby. And all over Britain last year, people put rainbows of hope in their windows and in their cars. <laughs> and when I, I said to um, the mummy of the baby, I, I will crochet a granny square blanket for you. And she looked on Pinterest and said, I would like this one. So I thought, oh, how lovely. So it's got all the colours of the rainbow and the border. The border was just such a joy to make. And the, um, the crocheted stars, a nice, easy pattern. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, Candy's having iced coffee and a... a a Belvita breakfast bar. Oh, I love a nice coffee. Mm. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I only started crocheting last year. I did my granny square blanket and I crocheted a rainbow for the window. It was one of my let's try and learn a new skill during lockdown. <laughs> and I just like simple things, just simple crocheting. But so I'm going to wrap that up. <laughs> and we're going to see them on Sunday. So I'm going to ask her if she would like it. The baby's due in August, whether she'd like to have it now or wait till August. I'd, I'd like to give it to her in person and not send it through the post. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was a joy to make. Oh, I had to, I, I had to sew the stars on, on to the, on to the, to the white granny squares though, because I just, even on the YouTube video, I just couldn't work out how to make the stars into a square. <laughs> Ah, uh, right. Let me. Which journal was that? Um, what journal was that, Candy? I did make a journal with a crochet cover, didn't I? Was it that one? Hmm. Ah, uh, do you know? I don't mind making large crochet projects because. Um, Roy, because it's just for me, just such a therapy, just to have a project. This one, it did have an ending because I wanted to get it done. But normally, the the other blanket I made, I don't want it to end almost because it's just almost therapy <laughs> for me. Good morning, Laurie. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. We're just having afternoon tea here, aren't we, Freddie? Freddie knows. Freddie knows it's snack time. But of course, for you, you're you're having a little get up and stretch over there in America, aren't you? <laughs> oh. So let me put this down. I need to put it down somewhere where there's no paint. I'll put it on the back of Mildred's chair. Let's get there's Freddie's snack. Let's get ourselves organized for snack time. Lots of tins today, but don't worry, I've got your look at that. Is Freddie licking his lips? When I wasn't looking, is Freddie licking his lips? <laughs> you know it's snack time, Freddie. You are funny, Freddie. 
Are you funny? Let's get this to wash my hands. Oh, so yes, get your snacks ready, everybody. Ladies and gentle spoons. <laughs> Let me see. Freddie has his first. Goodness me. There we are. He's got his little fish. Do you want to sit down? He's not sitting down for them. Can you see? He's got one. Oh, you keep cosy. He's got his. He's got his back legs on the chair. Lazy. Lazy. Sleeping lazy. Oh, Anne. Gail Anne. Oh, you can't stay. That's no. Yes, I understand. Love to you and your dad. Oh, Gail, thank you so much for popping in. Hope you all too are well as well, your little pups. Oh, so lovely to see you, Gail. Just in time to see our young, lazy Freddy who can't even be bothered to get up off the chair. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> Goofy Freddy, I know. I know. They're only little scripts and scraps, like having crisps. I need to, it's just like you're having crisps or chips, as um, you, you like to call them. There we are. Let's pop that up there. Right, let me wash my hands now. That's finished then, Freddie. Do you want to sit back up? Yeah? Or do you go for a drink? Let me wash my hands. So, let me tell you what biscuit I've got today. <laughs> You've had your snack and you're having a coffee in one of your souvenir mugs. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, you choose, a, you love choosing a mug. I love choosing a mug. I'm quite particular. Yes, you have different ones for different times. Mm. I've got my lovely Janet UK mug, though, that Meljoy gave me. If I don't have this mug, I might forget who I am. <laughs> oh, dear. There. So I just pour my tea out and my hot tea. Oh, tea bag's still in there. It's ginger, a ginger tea, I think. I'll let you know. And today, ta -da -da, the Great British Biscuit, we have got the custard cream. And I tell you that Anne, if Anne, are you still there, Anne? It's not a very, because Anne um, bought the Gary Baldies from Amazon and was really enjoying them. Mm. <laughs> Jean, thank you. The custard cream, it says custard cream on there and it's got a little pattern. So it's a little biscuit with little, it's not a sophisticated biscuit. It really isn't. And remind it's just a classic biscuit. It's very sweet, though. <laughs> very sweet. <laughs> mm. And I thought, so what did I do? The Gary Baldies last week. And then I thought, I'm going to make my own custard creams. Ta -ta! <laughs> now, I'm afraid... I'm afraid... Oh, the one I'm... Up from my therapy class. Thank you. Thank you, Candy. Thank you so much. Yes, it's a we have it in our heads. Thinking, oh, I can't draw. Well, I don't draw that well because I don't practice, but I just loved. I just just did my own thing. Thank you for that. Thank you, um, Candy dear. <laughs> So I made my own custard creams. Of course, I could have made like a little press to get the shapes on it, but I didn't. But there we are. Same sort of colour. It's got the cream inside. <laughs> so let's have a look. Ooh, coffee, coffee flavoured cheesecake. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh, off you go. Off you go, Barbara. Barbara's off for her walk. You stay safe and have a wonderful time. And it's just the perfect weather for your walk today. You can come home and have a snack <laughs> afterwards. Oh, take care, dear Barbara. 
Lovely. <laughs> So, yes, let me show you. They snap like this. Let's see if mine snaps like that. Oh, it does. It's snappy. Very sweet biscuit, though. Oh, here's Sue. Oh, you're on your way on the train. Sue. Sue lives on the East Coast. It's a pain, though, getting from mum. Correct me if you're wrong. I think you do live on the East Coast. You'd have to come into London, don't you? And oh, we'll have to meet up sometime. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, very nice. Mm. A very sweet biscuit. I think it compares. It's got quite a lot of custard powder in it. What a trick! What a what um what a cheat! <laughs> oh dear. So I'm gonna. We've got a tin full here. So I think they'd be fun for picnics, wouldn't they? It's just nice. What's your favourite British biscuit, Sue? We do love our biscuits, don't we? Mm. It's just like you um, people, our friends from the States, they love their, you love your, you love your cookies, don't you? Mm. I'm thinking of going up to London. I'm thinking of going up to see the elephant exhibition. It's in the park. So it's wonderful to have an art exhibition that's in the park because I can take Freddie with me. Mm. Chocolate hobnobs. Your favourite biscuit is chocolate hobnobs. Do you challenge me to make chocolate hobnobs for next week? Everybody loves hobnobs. That's a that's a modern biscuit, though. We weren't brought up with hobnobs, were we? Mm. 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 Who doesn't like a chocolate hop? Mm. Mm. They're, they're an oaty biscuit. It's, but if you didn't know what they were. I've been painting rainbows. Ta-da! <laughs> the reason I'm painting rainbows is I wanted to make some wrapping paper to go with the star crochet blanket. That's why I've got my apron on today because I'm making, we're going to do some more painty papers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put my tea over there so I don't get in a, a cup bubble. So there's my drop off sheet. Oh, hello, Janet USA. <laughs> Just in time to come and join us. Mm. I think, Nettie, I think he would love that outing. I took him on the train on Friday. We went up to Richmond. And how long is that on the train? We have to change it in London. You're going to Central London change. I think we were on the train, I don't know, for 40 minutes. Oh, he was so good. Mm. Um, yeah, he was so good. It felt like, you know, say what well, you feel a bit kerfuffly, don't you? You think, oh, I've got a bag, I've got the dog, I've got, and oh, I've got to look after it. But you know, I didn't feel that at all. I just felt, I felt he made me feel really calm and he went into therapy dog mode. He was just on a, such a short lead and he he was just trotting along by my side. And then he sat in the corridor, in, you know, in, in the aisle watching everybody. And he wasn't even that over friendly with people like he usually is. It's like he was concentrating and looking after me. It's so sweet. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Sue, a chocolate tea cake. Oh, I love those. Oh, yes. And used to go like that with the chocolate on the top. And it used to crackle. Mm, I haven't made homemade marshmallow though before. Mm. Mm. 
I do remember those. Gosh, you're challenging me, Sue, to make some wonderful biscuits. I've just made some custard creams, Janet, USA. <laughs> oh, dear. The Great British Biscuit. <laughs> it's Christy. Good morning. You heard your question. You had to put your paintbrush down and hop in. Nothing better than a digestive biscuit dipped in coffee. You may cheat and have one with breakfast. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. And isn't, oh, that's such a joy to know. I love that. That no pressure to come into the chat, but there's there's people there in the background, just sort of, yeah, <laughs> just just painting away and gluing away and resting away. Let me just show Janet USA. Oh, it's a bit broken up now because I've been eating it, Janet. This is because I don't think you probably had these in the states. This is the custard cream and this is my homemade version it was the right shape it's it's got the filling inside and it's nice and nice and snappy mm. I'm quite pleased with it <laughs> mm. oh Christy does some wonderful painting <laughs> a digestive biscuit oh yes mm. Mm, maybe I could make those. Mm, it's fun to do. Mm, they're great, don't you, aren't they, Christy? Mm. <laughs> Custard cream, I know. It's a very sweet biscuit. <laughs> mm. Well, Kathy, you're having a morning nap. Sleep, sleep well. Sleep well, Kathy. Mm, you drift off. Mm. You drift off to sleep. Here's an idea for Lily and Vera, making some nice, let's do this. These are my, so this is going to become, I'll probably sew it together. I'm going to make some more. This is going to become my wrapping paper. Let me show you some I've done yesterday. I have lots of painty fun. Oh, envelopes, obviously. These are all ready to be printed on. This is my painter rainbow. Don't you worry, I'll show you how I did it. Mm. Yes, Teresa. Yes, we love Nicole at Relax Paint Glue. Relax Cup Glue. She is wonderful. And she does. Getting everybody interested in gluing and sticking and making glue books. Her little, her latest magazine glue book is absolutely fabulous. I love it. I love it. And so does everybody else. Right, so let's pop those down there. And without further ado, I'm just going to start painting. <coughs> I've got crumbs. I've got my little mini gel. But you don't need to have one of those. Now, have I got all the colours there? Oh, I think the orange might be by the sink. Let me just go and get the orange because it was all clogged up. Talk amongst yourselves for a little minute while I just go and... Let's paint a rainbow. <laughs> what do you think, Freddie? Let's paint a rainbow. Now, have I got so I thought I looked on I looked on eBay. <laughs> oh, little Freddie, I know. <laughs> oh. Alley Cat loves digestives. Oh, lovely. Mm. You need to make them homemade. Well, let that be our task this week. Homemade, I'll, I will message you, homemade digestives. Always great to have, have it homemade and then you, uh, one knows what's inside it. Yes, definitely. Oh, Da, are you back home now? Did you get everything sorted? Did you get Grace's medicine? And I'm 
always found myself looking on eBay and Etsy for rainbow wrapping paper. And then I thought, hold on, Jenna, make your own. I thought, oh, yes. So I'm just going to do some orange for the minute. Oh, wonderful. Where can I put this? Oh, I'll put it in here. Lovely. Oh, lovely. I'll show you how to make the rainbows in a minute. I can't out a little stamp. Last week when the boys were away, my friend Leslie and my lovely neighbour Sandra popped by and we had dinner in the garden. They bought some non-alcoholic sparkly wine. And knowing me, Sandra, when she was helping me clear up, said, oh, do you need, shall I throw this away or put it in the recycling or do you want to keep it? Ooh, let me keep it. So I carved out a little star on here and there we are. And I made a, made a little stamp. Ooh. Lovely. There we are. Oh, lovely. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. It's amateur hour over here. Goodness sake. You've been doing this a year now, Janet. Nearly a year. You should know now. <laughs> oh, it's all humid, is it? In no, the temperature's dropped so much here. Um, not humid anymore. <laughs> oh, dear, it's definitely cardy weather. Mm. Yeah, lovely. There. That's it. So... That's it. Uh, what I'm going to do is come in and on these painty papers, make all the colours of the rainbow as stars. But I will show you how I did the did the rainbows as well in a minute. Very um, very relaxing. Good afternoon, to Cheryl. Cheryl's in the house. Oh, so nice to see you. Good morning, Cheryl. So nice that you could come by. I'm loving that. Mm. I wonder what our Beth's working on. You're making some more bracelets this morning, Beth, dear. We're still getting ready, and there we are. That's it. That's some stars there. Hold on. Let me get my. Let me get this one. Put some orange stars on here. So I'm going to go through with all the colours like this. I lost my chat for a little minute. It was still there, but I just got I just got wrapped up in um doing this. Sometimes we do lose ourselves, don't we? And that's wonderful. It's wonderful to lose ourselves in our art. As soon as one gets the paint or the glue out. This is left over from doing some inking earlier. Let's just put this orange here. There might be a time when we need some orange painty paper. Ooh, lovely. That's just going to be pure orange. Loving that. Just pull this apart. And then I can, oh, I can print, I can print a rainbow on top of here once that's dry. I'm loving this. Oh, lovely. I can't get enough making painty papers. Let's get my junk journal. And then just come in. That's why I 
got this little one because I thought, gosh, this is going to be just really handy and manageable. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. Ooh, do you know I missed it, darling? You said that whether you were in or back home now. I missed my chat. I got carried away. Oh, hi, Clem. Good morning. Nice to see you. How lovely to see you. Are you arting? What are you up to today, Clint? Any painting on the go for you today? Tell you who makes lovely painting paper is Malaya. Malaya does, don't you? Uh, Malaya, you scrape paint, don't you? There's Alicia. Alicia, you, you're listening while you clean the house. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Alicia, if you're on Instagram, Alicia has an account. And you can see Alicia's balcony. And the balcony is, is, is covered in beautiful, inspiring, relaxing art. Wonderful. If you want to see some of Alicia's work as well, if I'll leave a link. If you go to wonderful Lizzie Brewer's stream, her and Papa were opening happy mail from Alicia. Uh, on, I don't know, in the week, I listened on replay maybe on Friday evening, and Papa and Lizzie were singing using some of the words that Alicia had written out. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Jana. So, yes, painty paper, just, just for me to... Right, now, that's it. Let's see. So what colour comes first? Let's... Let's create a rainbow. Oh, little Freddy itching away. There you go. Don't worry, he's all up to date on everything. His shots and what have you. Blue. I, do you know I have to look? Why do I have to look? <laughs> what am I like? Blue. And green. I can't go anywhere fast. It's just nice. There's Joyce. Oh, nice to see you, Joyce. Oh, lovely. Come on in. We're just creating a mess. <laughs> We're doing a paint. I keep rolling up my sleeves, so I'm not going to put my elbows in paint. It's quite nice to have some clothes that don't... Um... <laughs> oh. Oh, home again. Scott got his new glasses ordered. Our, our Bex is home again, but then going out again, aren't you, for Bernadette soon? Yes, green, yellow. I'm not multitasking. I have to keep looking. What colour comes next? What am I like? Red. <laughs> Ooh, is there room for orange? To clean out the orange, it was very. I haven't left enough space, but never mind. Hey ho, there we are. Oh, your Alicia says, Oh, her clothes have paint on them. Wonderful, wonderful. We don't mind too much, do we? Especially if it's a pattern dress. Does anyone notice or see? Probably not. No, <laughs> oh, so. I like using the deli paper. I'm just, I'm making another sheet for the wrapping paper. Look at this. This desk is just not big enough. <laughs> oh, dear. We use up any, any space we have, we tend to use up, don't we? <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not complaining, really. There we are. So, then... Do you remember? Oh, sorry, I don't want to get you painty. Let's put that over there. Sorry, Mo. Although Mo, yeah, he has got a bit of paint on, but he loves his arting, so that's fine. So I've done this before with the credit card, but that wasn't big enough. So I've just got some 
cardboard like this and then scrape it down like that. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, look, all the orange is on the side. And then just going to go like that. Oh, that didn't come off very well, did it? It went, ah, oh, when you use plastic, I put it in my hair now. I've got paint in my hair. When you use the plastic, it comes, let's have a look. Maybe I'll do half and half. You, lovely. Paint a rainbow. And then do this side, yes. Change my mind. I am using the credit card and not the cardboard. And then, ooh, lovely. Loving that. Mm, beautiful. Maybe we're not happy unless we're in a mess. Ooh, I'm loving that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I'm just gonna not gonna waste this blue. It's not very rainbowy, but I'm gonna scrape it on, on here. And this will just become the base for something or other. Now let's get my little star and let's find a, while this dries, let my, oh, here's one. Here's a rainbow I painted earlier. I'm going to get some green stars on here. This would be nice in my 1960s journal. A rainbow, quite hippie. See, again, I've lost my chat. I, by just getting involved in the paint. It's a very, I don't know, very relaxing. Very relaxing to do. Mm. Thank you, Kim. Kimberly. <laughs> it's funny how I always call you Kimberly. It's how I was introduced to you. I don't call you Kim. <laughs> Lovely green stars. Mm. And we need some different colour stars on here too. So I oh I haven't got green on here on this one. Very relaxing. So we started the day off by sewing and now sorry you can't see that but I was just stamping off there. What other colour? I'm gonna go in with some Oh, orange red, multicolored. Oh, I'm loving that. Beautiful, beautiful. The colors are mingling, and that doesn't seem to matter actually. Lovely. Mm. Paint a rainbow, and that reminds us of, of our lovely Laura. And we can find Laura over on Instagram in creating some wonderful videos with music on over on Instagram. I must post more on Instagram. I don't seem to post anything there. Well, no pressure, no pressure, Jenna. No, only if you want to. I don't know why. There we are. Mm. There. And oh, let me just. These are my. It's lovely to have a stock of painty papers, and I think these would be really bright. I think they'd be nice in my 1960s journal. Flower power and rainbows. <laughs> oh, I could stick some extra pieces in. It was Jean. I'm yes, yes. I never quite know what to post because yeah, we're producing stuff all the time, aren't we? And I tend to post things say in the groups. Oh, mm. mm. I've got another toucan that I've nearly finished, so I might post my toucan. Mm. 
There we are. Blue stars. Oh, I'm loving this. This is a very relaxing activity. Uh, probably, probably it's it's quite a good um, way if you have a business because the hashtags are quite effective on um, at getting your picture seen on on Instagram. There we are. Um, mm, I, Candy, I will be doing some prompts later. Were you talking about someone else's prompts or the prompts I'm going to do? I am going to do some prompts very soon, actually. Just to start us off. Start us off in the week in the way we mean to go on. It's great for people that are doing their iCads or... Just want to start off the week by doing a little something. Or unless you just want to paint a rainbow. And if you haven't got all these colours in acrylic, you might you might have, have them in watercolour. There we are. I think I'm going to call that a day. It is fun, isn't it? But you can do short little videos as well. And the, the videos are gorgeous. I'm not quite sure how to do them. But they are very effective. There we are. There. And there is my... Oh, and I let me just... They've got some, some scrappy paper here. There we are. Oh, I might have an envelope. Oh, a rainbow envelope would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Ooh, it's got some of the stars sort of printed off on it as well. Loving that. Let's get a let's get an envelope done. Lovely. Of course, one of my hobbies. I love making envelopes. Mm. Oh, Candy. Oh, bless you. I, we will get some prompts in a minute and I will make sure I message them to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Candy, close your eyes and just relax back and know that we're all together. Yeah. I will let you know the prompts later. But yeah, no, seriously. You just relax back. Yeah. Take some nice deep breaths. Not easy when you're in pain, I know. Yeah. It's not always about doing. It's about being, isn't it? Hmm. You're with us and we're with you. Yeah. That's what counts. Ooh. Lovely. And I don't want to waste any of this paint here. Mm. It's all on the side. It globbed out. Lots of people are sending you love. If you've got your eyes closed. It's my little mini jelly plate. I have a larger one, but this one is just so handy. For occasions like this, uh, when I'm, there we are, sending rainbows through the post. Whoa, I'm loving that. Of course, I'm getting in a complete and utter painty mess here. I like to see if I can get as much out of this paint as I possibly can. <laughs> There you go, I think that's it. I think that's it. So I'm going to clear this up. And then, yes, we will start the prompt game. Just to start us off. Yeah. We do need to keep our minds active sometimes, don't we? Janice, yeah, you're right. Hmm. 
Hmm. There we are. I'm loving that. I'm waste any. There. Fantastic. Have I got the little, oh, I have I even got a little plastic it goes in trying to look after it. Oh, a desk full of rainbows. I know. I know. So bright and cheery. Mm. There's Ali. Oh, Ali, good afternoon. Love my star stamp. Thank you. We've, we've probably all got some old corks knocking around, maybe. And these ones are great because they've got like a, a handle. Or oh, you can use fun, fun foam. I was inspired by Tanya McGuire's video on making fun foam letters and numbers for the jelly plate. I recommend it. Mm. I can leave a link for that as well. I do hope I remember to leave the links that I'm promising. Just remind me if I don't. Did everybody see that? The Tanya McGuire one. I'm just going to do this because I can get another rainbow by smushing that down. Can I? Not really, but I got some paint and I love that. Smush, smush, smush. Lovely. That will be the beginnings of something. I need my washing line here, don't I? I'm going to throw these down here and then hopefully they won't stick together too much mm. nice to see you Ali ah oh, brilliant yes I use like um, a Stanley knife blade I don't know what you call that in the states I yes I drew the the star it was with a triangle and a heart one would be nice I will have to drink some more. No, not really. I've got some saved up. A heart one would be nice for me to do. We have them saved all around the house, that sort of thing, don't we? So let's get some pumps out. Mm. Tanya does do the best doodles. Yes, yes. And I like Beth with her doodle prompts as well. Let's get some prompts out now. What I'm going to prompt on. You thought I was getting a picnic out, didn't you? Mm. I'm going to get my little, you need to know how to make these little books. Beth has a video on it. They're called, what are they called? Storm, storm journals. But I use it for storing half-made ATCs. Ooh. I've got a band that goes around it, but that's just gone on the floor. So today... I'm going to make, I'm going to decorate this with the prompts. Last week, it gave me the idea last week, we made, we made ATCs, ATC size blizzard book. Thank you. Yes. It's my handy dandy blizzard book. Thank you, Beth, dear. <laughs> so ATC size, so that is, Two and a half by three and a half. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, if I've got the measurements wrong. And I've made like a little hinge and a tag, and I will put some string on that maybe. But that's what I'm going to decorate. You can do a page. You can fall asleep. <laughs> Just like little young Freddie over here. Yeah, do your own things, chicken wings. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to collect, I've got some bits here, some of my sticky bits there. Let's see if we can find some more wacky blizzard storm, whatever. <laughs> oh. Lissy, yes, Lissy did doodle games, yes. Maybe we could ask Beth. To do a doodle game where you pick a prompt and do a do in like the prompts but I know Beth you're always so busy aren't you my lovely one yes you are that would be nice for a change wouldn't it yes 
I'm still working my way through my basket of prompts. The ones we've had a lot, I've put there, especially the funky ones. Mm. My half-made ATC book. So you can just grab them when you, because sometimes we just don't feel like measuring. I'm a great one for prepping art, any, any sort of crafts. I, like my crochet, it's all ready to go um, because there's obviously there's some days where we just don't feel like doing anything but if we can just grab this or grab something or an iCAD card index card yeah <laughs> so let's see one I'm not looking two three I'm trying to shuffle this game go five I wonder if they're going to be funky ones. Six. Oh, it's six, isn't it? Yeah, six. But do ask for alternatives if you don't like some of them. And we will start and we'll see how far we get. Oh, add corrugated card. Oh, wonderful. If you haven't got corrugated card... Just add anything, maybe T torn up paper or let's see. Let me see. You'd think I if I have a prompt down, I would have a corrugated. I have, I have corrugated card. That's from round the back. Mm. Yeah, measuring gets in the way. <laughs> Anne says she's ready for more googly eyes. Oh, I do hope I picked some fun ones today. I've added more. Now it's summer. I've added more. <laughs> I never did find my googly eyes, though. Never did. Never did. Had to draw them in the end. But that got sent off. It, oh, it, everything gets sent off. <laughs> so nothing's wasted. There you go, I, I can trim this off later. And I'm not thinking about what I'm doing because this is just a background, really. And six prompts isn't that much. It's just a starter, really. Let me just wipe my hands because I'm getting paint everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Jana. Add corrugated card. Does anybody need an alternative because they haven't got corrugated card or any cardboard? Oh, you could, you could, sorry, I just wiped my hands on my apron. <laughs> Ooh, not yet, Aunt Bex. Oh, how exciting. It will come. It will come. Oh, Aunt Bex, thank you. There we are. Here's Aunt Bex thinking, oh, no, not more Janet prompts. <laughs> Brilliant. I've added some corrugated card and I'm happy with that. You take a long or a short. Oh, you can stamp with the corrugated card. Oh, what a good idea. Oh, Beth, what a good idea. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it might make it a bit wet. Oh, ink. Right, let's put some ink on here. Ah, oh, Beth has the best ideas. Put some ink on there and then fold it over. Loving that. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. Ah, oh, lovely. That makes just, it might get covered up, but thank you. See, sharing ideas and inspiration and each other's company. Mm. I saw, I saw pictures of your wonderful avocados with their googly eyes. I love it. Oh, that's an interesting one. Use burlap. Oh, how interesting. Use burlap. Okay. Burlap, or if you're in the UK, hessian is another name for burlap. If you haven't got burlap, use use any trim. I 
I think I've got some in my handy dandy slow stitch kit here somewhere. Have I? Ah, look, I have. I've got some lovely burlap. Oh, how wonderful. Prompt two. I, I, when I was first on YouTube, I used to love doing prompts with Lizzie. Lizzie did, did prompts. I, I wasn't well enough to join in the game. But I used to love to watch. I'm just going to put it down like that. I'm not going to put too much thought into it. Now, what scissors do I use for that? Fabric scissors? Let's see. Hmm. Hi, Lizima. Oh, nice to meet you. Lizima, is it your first time in our, in our chat, in the chat? Or, or speaking up in the chat. Really nice to see you. So nice. Thank you for popping on by. We're doing an art prompt game. You can join in or not. Just see how you feel. Mm. The first prompt was use corrugated card. You can use, you can, you can make a huge canvas if you want to. I'm just making a little ATC. And I'm going to use fabric tack. Got all my glues. You're working on your slow stitch. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's really nice. Lizima, that's so nice to think of people in the background gently sewing away. How wonderful. Welcome, welcome. Now, are you on Facebook or in any of the groups so we can you can share? some of the some of your work no pressure though no pressure and an alternative for burlap for or anything or an extra oh add black and white oh that's a nice one that's an alternative or you can do it anyway add black and white i like that one i like that one a lot I might just add black and white. I've got black and white photos, black and white bits and pieces. Will that come out? No. For the minute, I'm just going to use this scotch glue because I can always, I go back. This is just a start. Mm. This is your second time here. You're in North Carolina, USA, up in the mountains. Ah, oh, we have our Bex, who's from South Carolina. Lissima, welcome. So nice, so nice you can be here. We're just starting, starting the day together. I love that. <laughs> oh. Add black and white, yes. Enough. Or Bella. Or both. I might add both. I'll go for another prompt, but I might get some black and white. It's looking a bit scrappy. Usually by the time you yes, it's even when I say goodbye, it's look, still looking a bit scrappy, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, oh how funny. I've got two add black and whites there. Oh no. We can add black and white. Let's go for it. Let if, if you've done the old, you'll need an alternative though, won't you? Hmm. No, let me put that one back. Let me put that one back and pull another one. Oh, ew, bubbles, add bubbles. Oh, wow, goodness me, add bubbles. Oh, I'm loving that. Wow. So I am going to get some paint on here. Get all in a mess. <laughs> and bubbles. If you wanted to, we could do that bubble painting. But I'm just going to do some circles. <laughs> How wonderful. Mm, what colour? Haven't got a colour theme going here yet. I, it's very 
early stages. Mm. Oh, look at that. People are telling you where they're, where they're from. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. Oh, a friendly bunch. What a friendly bunch. Mm. So I'm going to add some circles. They can be my bubbles. But other people might have bubble paper. Ooh, bubble wrap. Ooh, bubble wrap. Thinking. Ooh, lovely. Let's get some bubble wrap. Hold on. That's a nice way to add bubbles. If you've got any, if you could see this, it's like um, an assault course of painty papers here. <laughs> an absolute assault course. <laughs> Wonderful. Here's my little handy dandy printing here. Mm. Lovely. I love that. I love adding bubbles. Lovely. Just, I'm not going to waste any of this. Mm. Oh, it's nice with the bubbles on. Let's fetch an envelope. And then just go like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. Oh, no, Janet. Janet USA said use bubble wrap. Us Janets, we have the best ideas. <laughs> oh, you can use the cork from the bubbly drink. Oh, yes, Beth. <laughs> Brilliant. Quick, open a bottle of shampoos just so you can use the, um, the cork. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a nice one. Haven't had that one for a while. Q-tips. Use Q-tips. And if you haven't got Q-tips, you can just use the tip of a pen, can't you? But have I got some here in this little drawer? I have. Ta-da! Katie said one day, um, you would all love to see what I've got in the drawers because Katie likes to have a little explore. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll pop that there for the minute. Hmm. I'm getting in a wonderful hot mess here. I love it. Mm. Now, what colour? I haven't got a colour theme going on here at all. But I will pull this together. Don't you worry. We haven't got any focal point. This is this can just be a background. You can add more things later. <laughs> you can just do your own thing with it. It's just a little start for the day. Some blue. I'm looking. Oh, look, I'm... Getting lots of envelopes made today, all started. Again, Cheryl, I just have things started and then I can take this and then glue pictures on if I don't feel like doing anything else. Oh. How lovely. Wonderful. I might do the edges of this. Do you know, as I'm doing this, I would like to say, ooh, that brings it together. I would like to say, would you mind popping a number in and I will send a little piece of happy mail out, just a tiny envelope with some little, little ATC in or and some hearts. <laughs> just a tiny little one. So pop some numbers in and I'll get a number between one and a hundred. And oh, this is oh, this is so relaxing. Well done, Aunt Bex. Thank you. Um, between one and a hundred, and then I, the lowest number on it or below the one nearest. Do 
between a one and a hundred. Oh gosh, this is just so relaxing. Mm. Well done. Popping some numbers in. Oh, thanks, thanks, Janet. Oh. Oh, Beth. Beth Paint. Oh, Beth, you have the best ideas. You got I remember that. You here's Beth. Did you break them in half? You put elastic band on them, put them all together, and then you you paint like a flower. Oh Beth, that's such a good idea. Wonderful. And sometimes it looks like what we're doing is just a little hot mess, but we'll pull it together. Don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, how wonderful. Oh, gosh. Oh. Mm. oh, well done. Don't let me miss anybody that's coming in that I haven't seen <laughs> and said hello to. Oh. And let me get the last prompt for you. Oh, it's one of my wacky, crazy ones. It says, add afternoon tea. Add afternoon. Oh, I think I've got paint on my mouth now. I can taste it. <laughs> paint everywhere. Add afternoon tea. Well, there we are. So afternoon tea. Let me see what I've got. Have I got anything? It can be like teapots, cups, saucers, cakes. Any little cutouts of cakes and afternoon tea. Let me have a look what I've got. I do save things by for such occasions, but don't worry, I will find something. So the last prompt is add afternoon tea. What fun. Oh, what absolute fun. Ew, wow. That's a nice picture. There. Oh, I will find something. How lovely. Look, there's a little picture of a table. Isn't that delightful? And we just need to add some cakes to that. How wonderful. Mm. Oh, stickers. Yes. You sent me some stickers with afternoon tea on, didn't you, Beth? And teapots. Don't worry, I will find them. I will find them. I've got a little handy dandy drawer here. There we are. I'm going to pull out and that will have some stickers. Now let's get my phone. Mm. <laughs> Kimberly, I love that. Add. Did anyone want an alternative to add afternoon tea? Um, uh, yeah, picture of a cake. Anything. Snack time. Add snack time. Mm. Picture of a donut. I will have something. Don't you worry. That will be in here. It's fun going through things, isn't it? Let's pull a number. Oh, okay. You want another prompt? You think you might have missed one? So it's add corrugated. Use burlap. Hold on, Ali. Um, that's an alternate. Hold on, yeah. Bubbles, Q tip. That was an alternative. Add afternoon tea. Yes, you, you, yes. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. What am I like? Hold on, I'm bending down to find one. What have I got? This one. Add an animal insect or bird oh that's a nice one probably i will add a butterfly maybe to mine thank you mm. thank you and the alternative is black and white but you can do black and white as well let's let's do some do the random org right generate a number everybody in between Eight. Who is closest 
to eight or under. That's a low number, isn't it? Let's um let's see. Oh, I could go back on here. I just don't like to think I'm gonna knock someone off. Who was nearest or under eight? Do I go back that far? I'm thinking that you will be able to help me. Well, I've lost the numbers now. No, I've lost the numbers completely. I bet when I come down here, oh, it starts there. I wonder whether no one's got them. Um, shall I pull another number? I see. Everyone was over. So in this case, do I um, generate another number? Is that how it works? Let me know. I will wait. I'm looking for cake. <laughs> Pictures of cake. Oh, well, of course, I can go to all my lovely magazines here and my cooking magazines and find. Oh, look. Add an insect. Oh, happy, happy mail for you. Happy. Oh, that's nice. I could put that on. How lovely. Mm. As you're looking through here, you'll, you'll find lots of lovely things. Mm. Yes, generate another number. Thank you. Generate another number. Generate. 48. Number 48. Who was closest to... 48 on or under. Seeking afternoon tea. <laughs> I will find something, don't you worry. Alicia had 44. Oh, how lovely. Let me send some happy mail to Alicia. How lovely. I will get that sorted, Alicia. There we are at 44. How wonderful. I will send some happy mail. A little colourful rainbow envelope. Happy mail coming through the post. <laughs> oh, well, it's probably time for me to continue here. Let's let's nip to Rebecca's and see Rebecca. Rebecca hasn't been here this morning unless she's been in the background or I missed her. But I'm sure she's been getting ready for, for us. So we can nip over to lovely Rebecca's if we want to. So have, have a wonderful week. Have a, a peaceful week. And I will we will be here next Monday, won't we? Yes, yeah, we'll be here. Because <laughs> I think even if I'm having a, a day where I, I'm not up to much, I thought, no, I still will be here because we can just sit and glue together. Mm. Right. Mm. Thank you. Yes, prompt six was. Yes, yes. Ah, goodbye. Bye-bye, Ali. Bye, and Deanie, goodbye. Oh, Freddie and Janet, thank you for putting those in. Bye, Cheryl. Oh, and Candy, dear, if you're still here, I do hope that your pain improves throughout the day. Sending you love. Oh, Liz Amer, thank you so much for coming in. It's been lovely and happy cross-stitching. Oh, oh, Joyce, look at me getting all muddled with the prompts. I never never fail to entertain, do I, <laughs> Joyce? Oh, take care. Take care, Bear. Yes, and Jean, you're working on your glue book while you're watching. Lovely. Becky's there. You've been listening. Oh, while you were waking up. Oh, how lovely. And you're there with the children. I expect you'll be doing some more art with the children this week, won't you, Becky? You don't have to get up as early at the moment because they're on their school holidays now. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you for all your help. Uh, 
Janet, Janet USA, and Nettie, take care, take care, Sue, take care, over, over here in England, <laughs> oh, mm. and there's Janet coming in with the prompts one more time, that's so kind of you, thank you, <laughs> oh, well, let's say goodbye, shall we, Freddie? <laughs> and I'll see you over in Rebecca's chat just now, but I'll see you in, in all the other lives and throughout the week. Mm. Yes, bye, our Bex, and take care and try and have fun while Bernadette's having her appointment. Hope you find some nice um, places to shop at. And I shall be continuing. I really need to do some serious work on my ATC to bring it up to scratch. <laughs> oh, goodbye, everybody. So nice to see you all. Mm. There we are. Shall we say goodbye? Let's turn it off then. Bye, everybody. And thank you to all the replayers as well. Bye, everybody.